Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. Today, we're going to get right back into knocking out this storyline. Everybody in the comments down below, let me know what percentage done I am so far. I'm guessing 4.8%. Leave me alone, dog. Leave me alone, dog! Actually, general store is not going to be open, right? No. Let's say I might check out some weaponry. I'm okay for now, I think. I need that new pistol, but it's not killing me to not have it either. Alright. Here we go. Travel to destination, travel to waypoint, yeah! John Marston. Oh, loading. Loading screens. Hey, I recognize this place. This is where I'm going, right? Nope, on the other side. Alright, giggity giggity. Get up here. What do we got here? John? Marshal? Gentlemen! Time, we must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> oh God! But we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises, or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law. When the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Huh? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which one went out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Me, I know. Escunce yourself from the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. Hey ho, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? Oh, my. Reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. This is gonna be fun. Come on in, come on in. Well, 
welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah! Greetings, my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman. <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the Earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique. Uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> Oh, snap. Oh, my lordy. Where he is? Oh, there he is. Now what? How in the hell did I not hit him? A dang pig, he said. I think my work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I think you have time. You must have a real bad death wish. the hell? Shot his damn hat off. Thought you were dead, boy. him. Guessing waves of enemies are going to come from that way considering there's TNT conveniently stacked around. What, are you down here? Hello. Last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Get a land and let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. 
Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! What Get the, the goddamn hell? gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen! These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way! Oh, my good lord above! There must be a hundred of them! What do you know? Holy hell. I should have done that a while back. stupid enough to charge a Gatling gun. Bill ain't here. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on! Oh, hold on, I missed it. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. <laughs> Chupa feckin' Rosa! Well, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. And just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. Yeah, boy. What the hell? Who the fuck shot me? We killed a lot of people. Just run around and pick up all their ammo. Excuse, excuse me. A lot of ammo ran around.
Like a whole lot. Wish it was easier to find, though. Alright. What? Someone don't like me much. Dumb son bitch. Let's head over yonder. Good old Irish. Waiting for me at the ferry. I didn't mean to call my horse. Oh, quit it now. Give it to me. Roading. Let's see what old Irish has got for us. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, um, London, or Paris, or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world, where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with me. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. I can't swim, you know. Shite, somebody doesn't like it! Shite! Oh. Cut the rope, Irish! We're sitting ducks here! By the love of God! Chris Carmo! You got the wrong man! I should have probably mentioned there's a fountain of dude out for my head in Mexico. We'll ride the river out! No point trying to land till we're well away from these bastards! Reload from that box! This thing's hard to hit people with. You got it all wrong! It wasn't me! Ow. You can still run away! Bloody Nara! I want that bloody spirit swear! And I ain't be fucking bastard! Hey, what are you shooting at? They're all along the bank! You 
staring at my ass, Irish? That's not good. Holy hell. I'd give up now if I was you. Heads up, more of them up on the tip for the left. That's enough. Go to hell, you dumb pointless bastards. This ain't exactly the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. What the hell did you do to these fellas? I recall it was something to do with money, and possibly a famous argument about a fellow's daughter, but the details are still. Oh my god. Kill these unfaithful bastards, man! God lord. Why is he load the Are we good now? Hot damn. Fourth time your so-called friends nearly got me killed. Hey, by ammo. You said they loved you over here. They do. The lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What's that, Polky? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Now you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of his stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? <laughs> Where the hell is this thing going? There's more fools behind that rock. Stick and touch you don't stop that. You ain't got that. Boy, I love a gun. I haven't stepped foot in this country, and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on patronizing with the notorious Irish outlaw. Oh shit. You know how this is gonna end. Splash. Splash. Go on top of the cliff, Marston. Run out of ammo. 
the cliff. On top of the cliff. Take cover, you dip. Why in the hell? It's because it's a bigger rifle? close six shots damn come on this mission's long Johnny boy I really will I doubt you'll remember any of it Irish that's where we're going I see that the court should put it to show up ahead damn it there's another two We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that floating death trap? Jesus, Irish. Oh, these horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy. Okay, <laughs> that happened. Further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, uh, saw him shoot a man. Uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny. But he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based on Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last night, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one. <laughs> and what do I get for that? Not much, I'm guessing. Some fame. Well, damn. Now where the hell am I? On the other side of the pond. Landon Ricketts. And DeSanta. I love Santa Claus! Thank you very much for joining us, guys. I do appreciate your uh, ongoing support of the series. Show the video some love, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye!